I mean, that's incredible. Look at this. These, these banana leaves are hot, but they smell so, oh my gosh, look at this. That pork is already falling apart. Aloha, everyone. It's Ryan with Gilbert Fireplaces and Barbecues, and tonight we are making Kahlua pork on the birch barrel. If you've ever been to the Hawaiian Islands, there's a good chance you've had Kahlua pork. I went a few years ago and experienced it for the first time at a luau. It's pretty incredible. So what they do in Hawaii is they take a full pig and they bury it in an underground oven that they call an emu, cover it up with banana leaves and you get this incredible smoky, earthy pork. It's unbelievable. They slow cook it for hours. Typically it's anywhere between, between 12 and 24 hours of cook time. So pretty wild. Now there's a good chance if you're on the mainland, you don't have an emu in your backyard. But if you have a birch barrel, you have a smoker and you have a fire pit. So today we're gonna get kind of wild here. We're gonna make Kahlua pork on the birch barrel and we're gonna put our own spin on it. So I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. All I know is I think it's gonna be a lot of fun and I think it's gonna be pretty good. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get our birch barrel loaded up. We got the birch barrel K Bracho charcoal. This stuff's unbelievable, all natural charcoal. It's gonna burn for a long time, which we're gonna need for this cook. So let's get this baby loaded up. All right, so we got our charcoal getting lit right now. So we're gonna let that go. It's gonna be about 15 minutes or so until that charcoal is good and hot. So in the meantime, what we're gonna do is we're gonna prepare our pork. Now, Kahlua pork is actually very simple when it comes to the seasoning. The only ingredients we're using today are salt, and it's a Hawaiian sea salt, all right? So this is gonna be as, as official as we can get it, as authentic as we can get this Kahlua pork. So you're using this Hawaiian sea salt, we're gonna use some pepper, and then we're gonna wrap it in banana leaves. Banana leaves are gonna give it that kind of signature flavor, that earthiness, that really make it the Kahlua pork. So the first thing I'm gonna do is score this meat here. Now I'm just doing this basically to allow the, uh, the salt and a little bit of that pepper to, uh, to penetrate the pork a little bit deeper. So not really cutting into this at all, just uh, scoring the surface. All right, so let's start with our Hawaiian sea salt here. It's got this beautiful red color to it, it's a ton of minerals. Now we got our pepper here. Just gonna sprinkle some of this on. We're gonna kind of rub that in into where we scored this as well. All right, so we got this pork seasoned up. Now it's the most important part of the Kahlua pork recipe. We're gonna wrap it in our banana leaf here. So we're gonna grab it, I'm gonna place it here, and then you're just gonna start rolling it over. You gotta handle these with care because banana leaves are very fragile and delicate. So we're doing all right now. So that's one wrap. All right, now I'm gonna take another leaf and we're gonna wrap it in the other direction. All right, so we have our second banana leaf down here and we're gonna roll in the opposite direction so we cover all sides of the pork here. So wrap up and then again, very gingerly flip that over. All right, so we're gonna wrap this up because you do wanna seal all sides of this. You don't wanna see any of that meat. So I'm gonna wrap this up a few more times. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our twine and we're gonna wrap this up. You definitely want that nice and tight around the pork. Just giving it a nice seal. Okay, so we got our Kahlua pork all wrapped up, and now I'm gonna talk to you about how we're gonna cook this. Okay, so like I said, typically, traditionally in Hawaii, what they're gonna do is they're gonna cook this in an emu. It's gonna take in a lot of smoke because there's gonna be hot rocks in there, there's gonna be wood in there. So it's gonna take in some smoke, you're gonna get some good flavor. Um, when, when we're burying it in our backyard, it's tough to really kind of replicate that. So what I'm gonna do here, and again, this is completely just random and nothing that I've ever seen before, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna smoke this for an hour on the birch barrel, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna transfer this into a Dutch oven, bury it in coals, and let it slow cook overnight for about 10 hours. I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but we're gonna start the first step now. We're gonna get this smoking on the birch barrel. All right, so our birch barrel's ready to roll here. I'm gonna throw this on, and then we're gonna, we're gonna have a target temp here of the smoker at about 250 degrees. So check this out. So here's what we're gonna do. So that's going on. All right. So then we close that up and we raise this baby up. And that's just gonna take in some smoke here for about, oh, an hour or so. And I'll show you what we're gonna do next. Okay, so our pork has been smoking for about an hour now. So I wanted the banana leaves to take in a little bit of smoke to give it some of that smoke flavor that you would get in the emu if you're doing a Kahlua pork. So that's done, we're gonna take that off, I'm gonna wrap it in foil, we're gonna put it in the Dutch oven, 
And then we're gonna put it back in the birch barrel. I'm gonna cover the Dutch oven with coals and we're gonna let that slow cook for about 10 hours. We'll see what happens. But let's start now. I'm gonna take this off and we're gonna wrap it. All right, so yeah, you can see how the leaves are getting a little bit crispier just from that heat. They're kind of drying out a little bit, but they got a really nice aroma to it. So I like that. I feel like some of that flavor is gonna get transferred to this pork here. So now I'm just gonna take this off. I'm gonna transfer this right here. Now I wanna seal in all that flavor. So with these banana leaves, they did dry out a little bit. There's probably some air pockets in there to where the, the pork's not completely sealed. So I think wrapping it in this foil, putting the Dutch oven's gonna lock in all that flavor. So I'm gonna wrap this up here. All right, so we got that kind of jammed into our Dutch oven here. So I'm gonna put this lid on, but what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take this charcoal basket out and we're gonna put the Dutch oven on the base of the birch barrel cover it with our coals, and we're done for the night. All right, so in we go. All right, so the pork is now buried in our pit. We got 10 hours, and we'll be back. Hope this turns out well. Okay, so here we are 12 hours after putting our pork inside the birch barrel, covering it with the coals. And let me tell you guys, so over the course of 12 hours, we had to make some adjustments, all right? I have to admit, I think I was maybe getting a little too cute when I decided that we would throw it in the barrel, cover it with the coals. I was really trying to mimic the underground emu kind of uh, technique there. Um, I probably got a little too cute. So the reason I'm saying this is because when I covered it with the coals, the internal temperature of the unit was about 360 degrees. I thought it was gonna cool down a little bit. I wanted it to be closer to the 250, 275 mark, and it didn't. About an hour and a half into the cook, it was sitting at about 375, 380, and that wasn't good enough for me. That's way too hot. We wanna cook this low and slow. So I had to call an audible, and I had to adjust the birch barrel. And that was what's one of the neat things that I found out about the birch barrel, is that you can adjust it, you can call an audible, and you can change your setup. So if you take a look at the setup now, you'll notice that we have the pork elevated up inside the cooking chamber there, up out of the coal bed, and we've been sitting at a beautiful 225 degrees ever since I moved it up. So we'll see what happens. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm not quite sure how this is gonna turn out because it did get hot pretty quick. Um, but it's smelling really good. I think we might have saved this. And, and I'm excited. I think we're gonna learn something today about how you can utilize the birch barrel in so many different ways. But uh, let's, uh, let's get to it. Let's see how this turned out. All right, so there we go. I did, as you can see, remove it from the Dutch oven as well. Just left it wrapped in our foil. So I'm gonna take this off. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna flip it this way here. Now let's unwrap this and see what we got inside. It is smelling fantastic. Oh wow. Oh yeah, you can see all that fat really rendered down. Look at all that moisture inside here. That's, I mean, that's incredible. Look at this, these, these banana leaves are hot, but they smell so, oh my gosh, look at this. That pork is already falling apart. Oh my gosh, guys, I wish you could smell this. This is insanity right now. This is what it looks like when you've cooked your pork shoulder to absolute perfection. So I got my bone right here, check this out. I'm just going to pull that out. Guys, I, I grabbed the forks to pull this, but I feel like I could literally just poke this with my fingers. Now it's super hot, so I'm not going to do that, but look at that. Okay, guys, I have to admit, I am so thrilled that this is pulling like this. I was nervous that I might have got it too hot too soon, but I think we called the audible at the perfect time. Look at that pull apart. How beautiful is that, guys? All right, well, that took all of 30 seconds to pull that entire pork shoulder. Guys, this is so incredibly tender. It's so incredibly juicy. I'm so excited to try our creation here. Let me go in for this bite. Look, going to Hawaii is awesome. 
But if you have a birch barrel in the backyard, I'm not sure you need to go to Hawaii to have some authentic Kahlua pork. Gosh, yeah, these flavors are incredible. I mean, I think we hit all the notes. I mean, you're definitely getting that earthiness from the, uh, the banana leaf for sure coming through. I think we're definitely getting some of that smoke flavor from the first hour of smoking this. I love that we were able to accomplish that. I think that actually made a huge difference in this flavor profile. It's got the good saltiness using that Hawaiian sea salt. I mean, this hit all the notes that we were going for. That is outstanding, guys. I'm thrilled with how this turned out. What a fun cook. Are you kidding me? What other grill can you use in your own backyard to create a dish in this manner? It's unreal. I, I don't think there's anything else out there that would allow you to do this type of dish. I love it. The thing with Kula pork, you can put it in sandwiches, you can put it in tacos. I think I know what I'm gonna do with this pork, however. Stay tuned. Well, that Kahlua pork on the birch barrel was outstanding. One of the most fun cooks that I've ever done in my life. It was unbelievable. If you guys liked that video, hit that like button, subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Instagram and Facebook for more barbecue tips and tricks. This is Ryan with Gilbert Fireplaces and Barbecues, where indoor comfort meets outdoor entertaining.